Welcome back everyone! So today I'm going to show you guys how I made this quick and easy dinner roll recipe. So if y'all are interested, go ahead and screenshot the ingredients and let's jump right in. Starting off in a large bowl, I'm putting one and about one fourth cup of the all-purpose flour into the bowl. And into that I'm adding the yeast. Also into that I'm adding the salt and sugar. And then I have my milk, water, and butter that are about room temperature. And I'm going to stir that into the flour. And I'm just going to mix this around until everything is distributed pretty evenly. I like to do this before I add in the rest of the flour just to make sure that everything is nice and mixed in. And now I'm taking the rest of the flour and adding it in little by little. Now for this part, you don't want to just dump in the whole rest of the three quarter cups because you may not need all of it, but you also might need a little bit extra depending on how you measure your flour. So what I'm doing is just mixing it around until it starts to not stick onto the sides of the bowl anymore. And so now we see that we formed a little bit of a sticky tacky dough. So I'm adding in just a little bit more flour until it becomes a consistency that I want. And now that the dough isn't sticking to the sides of the bowl anymore, I'm just gently kneading it to make sure that there are no more lumps inside. And I'm not going to overdo this part because the key to this bread is to not overdo the kneading. We want it to be light and fluffy. So now that the dough is about the consistency that I want, I'm just going to spray the bottom of the bowl. And I'm going to spray the top of the dough as well because we are going to cover this with some cling wrap. And we're going to let this sit for about 20 minutes. So what I like to do after putting the cling wrap on top is putting a dish towel on top as well. I find that it helps to rise a little bit faster just because of the warmth. And we're going to let this sit for 20 minutes. And now that 20 minutes has gone by, I'm just going to remove the cling wrap and then I'm going to knead it gently just a little bit more. But before I do so, I'm going to spray my hands down with some coconut oil. And I'm going to gently knead it just to make sure that there are no air pockets or no bubbles inside of the dough. Now I'm going to prepare the pan that I'm going to use to bake these rolls in. So I just sprayed it down with some coconut oil and I divided the dough into four pieces, which I'm going to further separate till they make about eight um, golf ball sized pieces of dough. And after forming the rolls, I'm just going to spray it down once again with coconut oil. And then I'm going to cover it once more and we're going to let this sit for 15 minutes. I know that's a lot of resting, but it'll all be worth it in the end. See, now that they have almost doubled in size, we're just going to remove the wrap. And then I'm going to place it into the oven and they're going to cook for exactly 15 minutes. My oven is preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And after 15 minutes, they should be about golden brown, just like this. What I like to do, now this is optional, is just to brush some vegan butter on the top, just for extra shine and glaze. You can also add um, like maple syrup on top if you like it a little bit sweet and to add that nice dinner roll shiny look. And they are finished! How beautiful do these look? Now remember, just because they are vegan doesn't mean that they don't have calories. So you do want to be careful when you're eating them. I really enjoyed making this video for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great rest of your day.